Hello everyone, TextTube here. Welcome to the tonight's game as right now the Saturday Night Prime Time is back. Because of this one, we are about to be seeing the Knights and the Kraken back at the Climate Pledge Arena. This is where it comes down to this. Win or go home for Seattle Kraken. Only two games are advancing to Game 7, and this is right in between the zone of the Islanders and the Hurricanes, and the other side had turned out one of the better ones that we have never seen like they did. In between by the gutter of the Oilers and the Kings. Winner of each two will be moving on to face against the winning team. But now, for this one, it's gonna be happening here just now. Who will it get who will let it all with the win? Will it be the Knights or will it be the Kraken? Well, let's find out how will they do. Next standing by in the commentary, I will have the next one coming in, as I have Nickel will be in here taking over. With, with the sideline reporter, as I at this moment, it will be the other angle of paintbrush, and the center ice will be Clover. And I'll be back for the post-game show. See you all in just a moment after the third period's over. Guys, it's all yours. Enjoy your next game, folks. This is Game 6 at the Climate Pledge Arena. Hello everyone, Nickel along with Paintbrush. This is the NHL Stanley Cup Playoffs on EA Sports. Game 6, win or go home. This will be the last one to take over. Vegas had the lead. Will Seattle get the win and get it to tied up? Let's find out now. The courtesy line of the being here has followed as we're all filled up and ready to take on ice. We have his Barbashev. And right towards the right side, we have his Jack Hijack. Right from the back on the other side, we have his Margin Salt. Then we have here is Pachangelo. And right back on the corner is Marnez. Now in the center of this ice scene for the goaltender, we have his Aiden Hill. He will be replacing here for, for John Quick. As he will be able to make a substitution here for game six of the game. Well, they may not going to need him because this time, we already know that he was definitely out of the game. Because now, they're going to make them sure if they're going to need him or not. Because if this all been part of the game, it really has determined that it will be determination to find out what will it be. Smith back over to Brochangelo. Now here's Martinez. Takes a shot and Jones with a quick save. He's the starting goaltender for the game six of the Kraken. Since we know that one here, here's the call for Clover. Shane Theodore has a lot of the heat seeker revenge out there right towards the outside of the range. He's finding a bigger way to make the offense work on his own at the front of the drop. He maintains his run and then takes us away from the only other side of the train to have it all with the recovery of the puck. That's a cross here from Dunn, but the better release for I'll be watching him with Shea Fiedor to keep an eye here on their own. We'll find out what happens here. Back to you. Here's Wenberg towards the outside, right? In a, in a neutral face-off zone. Down for a short, inside the zone! That's stopped here by Hill. Here's McNabb. Giving the pass back, back inside the zone of the wing. Pass to McNabb. Shot with the back here, rebounded again by Smith. Did not have enough time out there because he didn't really stay focused out there. Well, he was unable to make that one clear. The mistake, however, he wasn't able to do it right. And all that happens though, it didn't really pay it off. Here on the other side right now, the pass, McCann, and picks it away, Stephens in roll it over to Cassell. Here's the other angle for Smith. Smith, turns with a shot of the angle, Stephens in, pulling it right around the goaltender, but it's off again, Gordy has it a rebound. Now he will bring it over to Donato. Here's Donato right towards the outside of a wing. Now inside, over to his Borgen. over there with the shot, Hill will take the big save. We'll hold it with 15-17 to go. Now better plays for Gill. He was mainly maintaining his way on the posturizing because this was a hard one to maintain and go for it again. They've really got to set this thing with going with the better or the use of the angle. They really don't have anything, anybody else to try, to try to go over with the slot. They just didn't have the right encouragement. What they're ever going for, they just got to go right away. Good bang on attack win release. Trying to sweep it over to Cross. Higu's got the buck here now. Over it again to Boger. 
Here's Kosar right towards the wing. We'll try to give up to White Cloud. White Cloud lost the puck. Sprunge will take it over here. Now over to Gordy. Here's Borgen right towards the offense zone in the neutral zone. He puts it back in towards the offense side, and Hagee will try to hold it on. Gives it over to Howden. Hogan on a shot block, and the Jones will take the close save. 30, 13 49 to go in the first period of the game. Teams are ready to glide it up here, ready for the faceoff. Still scoreless in this game. Now here for the win, here's Schultz. Schultz gets it over and bumped it out. Battling for the loose puck. Saucy will take it over with the puck. Now racing in, back into the neutral faceoff zone to the Knights territory. Gets bumbled down. White Cloud, Stephenson right over again. That puck is off. Kiki to the net. That shot goes tipped wide as it chopped the puck loose. Regangelo over again to Stephenson, now over to, again to Cassell. Vegas are on the attack. Here's Carey. Lost the puck, didn't have the right timing to get there. Oh, maybe it had to be a better bad call because this was not that able to keep that one going. Here's Sponge. Towards the Kiki. Hits on his own! And Hill with a huge save. Cassell over to Martinez. Martin is around it. With a mad shot. Rebounded up in front of it and stopped again by Jones. Here on the outside, Bergendolo. Shot with the fade. Jones with a big save. Stop. Here's Dunn with the puck now over to Larson. Larson swings over again. Gets a little bumped out of there. Recovering the puck. Martinez in the middle. Shot. And kicked it away. Almost went loose. Going right in towards the goal net, but it was denied. Here's Everly. Everly lost the puck now. It will be swinging back. Larson has it over McCann. McCann inside. Hill glove save. And White Cloud will take it over. White Cloud will try to like go right over to again to the offender, right taking it over towards. In the Kraken territory. He finds it over to Eichel. Back to White Cloud. Here's Marinez. With the shot. Going for the deflection in. And it's stopped again by Jones. Jones got a pretty good heavy run. I mean, don't get comfortable out there. They're just looking for every shot angle. They had nowhere else to go behind. I mean, this was a very not tough, but be clearly on that, they are looking towards the player to go up with an open feed. Pass the midway period, and Cassell shot. It's blocked. Eichel shot. Stop again by Jones. Here's the number angle here, right towards the offense zone. Done. He goes forward with the shot, and White Cloud with the save after kills, saving a rebound. Here finds Eichel. Eichel! Eichel kicks it up to march itself. Marisol, get a little bit sleeved down, no penalty called on Seattle. McCann! Shot went fired out in the range, and it's Jones with a stop. Vegas are in the uh, pursuit. Now I'm making new changes here. We have this Bluegar. Bluegar with the shot. Almost went a loose in, but it was knocked away here. Another Jones stop save. Take him over to Larson. And pass broken up here. Here's Howden. And Bluegar. Bluegar lost the puck. He goes right over to Schwartz. Right towards the middle. Two on one. And couldn't find a man opener. They're giving up too many other plays because they were saying that they have lost a lot of a man, but they were really assuming that they should have been doing it one more time. They should have got there in the first place. They should never get there right around the target, man, because if that all does make sense, because they're really that good. The offense is in trouble to maintain the way and go right towards their, their, where they are going for. Here the outside, right now McKinn Nab over to White Cloud. White Cloud spinning it over to Luger. And they will have to leave it out here. Puck escapes his own. Luger, back to White Cloud. Now it's a here's Amedio. Amedio shot blocked. Oh sidekick, right over to Tolbin. Tolman has got the puck here right towards the wing in the Seattle Knights territory. Smith trying to fight a puck to do Amadio. Amadio, backhand shot. 
That deflects off the player and it goes right towards the wall. Five minutes left to play in the first period, already past the midway period. Hayden with the shot, almost went the fucking in. Veneers right toward the offense zone. Watching the player right towards the right. Got a good stop on here, and Amadio has it out. Back to Hagu. Hagu will try to clear the puck out. Still reaching. No icing on the call. Archel shot. Stopped by, by Jones. Here's another angle. Seattle going back over to work. Archel could have tried to make that move. And Archel shot. Scores. That move around in the backhand zone got it in tight. Well, this was saying that Jack Eichel got away. He's got a great puck steal. He took it away. And that hook right around Jones? I mean, what is this? That's a tough angle. I've never seen it. That was amazing. I tell you, can you believe that he's doing it? I, I can tell he does. He's definitely doing really well. Excellent with the player. You know what? I believe in you, the nickel. I think that Eichel just really got a great score. And looks like they are going to put up a win and go on to the second round to face against the winning team. I bet you win. Here's a shot. Margisol lost the puck. Gets banged up in the corner. Carrier on the backhand shot. Stopped by Jones. We're under three minutes to play in the first period. Now we're ready to paint things on. And now this is out into the Vegas 1-0 over to Seattle Kraken. Tries to make a pass over to Petrangelo after a face-off win. Petrangelo shot. Got a piece of that one here and stays out of the net. Carrier swings to Cassell. Cassell swings over back again to Martinez. Stephenson carries offside with 2.22 to go in the first. Luger wins the faceoff. The Knights are in a transition on offense. Wenberg's got the puck. Now going into the rolling in the offensive corner on the corner of the drive. In the middle. Lock the shot. Hill's got it right away to Pachangelo. Wenberg. He still stops the same play. No movement yet. Well, he's good because you want to stay in here. In the corner, it's going to be a very tight angle out there. Well played out there. Wenberg swinging over it again to Boshan. Boshan right towards the wing. In the center is Hill. We'll hold the play puck here with a 1-11 to go. Almost down to the wire for the first period. Now they're ready to take the face off in the, new, in the offense wing. And right now here's Soshi. That gets rejected. Just one minute of play in the first period. And on a fast break. Here it goes. Oh, they did not have that right. It looks like he kicked the puck. It's a no goal. I got to look at it one more play. That was close. And watch what happened. If he was right in the crease, it, he would have made that one attempt to make a no goal. That's not counting ball. Because they don't have that right offensive run to try to play make that inbounding. So with that being said, they just called it a withdrawal. They denied, and they should not use that one here as a trick. With a good run, here's Sprunge over to Kiki. Kiki right towards their wing. Now makes it to net. Oh, and blocking down. Amedio. Fire to Smith. Shot. Glove saved by Jones. Down to 10 seconds in the first period. Got to make it quick. Over to the net, and save being comes up by Gill. And that will end the first period. Jack Eichel, take the puck away, and he had that goal. 1-0 is where we left off in the score. Second period's coming up after this. Welcome back to the Stanley Cup playoffs. About to begin period number two. Right now we've seen one and zero with the final. What's the, the statistics? Let's have a what these what paintbrush says about the first period. Well, they were saying it because of a lot of them were out there, and one of the reasons is 
they were really trying to make that one a connection with the feed. The better of a shot angle is not really a cooperative thing. But when you can go with the other players against the attacker, you don't want that one to go up appealing with that one in to go right towards the offensive of the line. The score is not very that well to try to go up at the, uh, the close angle. The range keeps it out of sight. They don't have anybody else in front of by the goaltenders. They were really on a good eye, and the smart idea is to try to maintain that right towards the angle of the line. You don't want that one to come in facing towards you, and you want to make sure you want to keep it out of range as, as tight as you can. It's very that difficult. Nobody should be able to get that one there at the same time. Let it fade, and let it go out. Puck blues out on his own. And now Martinez will have a carry on with the puck. Now he finds Petrangelo. Now Amadio. Amadio. Give to the Smith. Smith on a shot. Trying to make a fast, loose chain with a canyon. And Jones had that one saved earlier. Now they're back in to do the face-off again. The score on this other angle comes in to make that one clear. A 1-0 game. And went too early as Borgen takes it over to Olesak. Lindbergh's got it across. Now back to the other angle it goes. Here's Carlson. Back to Amadio. Oh, got a little bumbled out. No power play call for Vegas yet. Lindbergh towards the offense wing. Tried to push shot. Shot stop by Hill. Rebound stop save. Oh, really got good. I know the defender was getting a little bit very heavy, but don't get it mindful. They really are starting to show them up. And what they could do about it, they just really can't. They just can't lose it. They can't just get it out of here. Wendler gets bammed down. Fedor, all the way out. And I see his whistles on Vegas. A lot of heavy hits here. Buck leaves his own. Now Jones will have it here. Borgen. Trying to watch the player up here. Bernardo has it out. In the center it goes. Theodore. Over to Gasell. Gasell racing towards the offensive side. Now we'll take it over right around the net. This carrier right towards the outside. And away. The Carlson. Get a little fumbled up already. As Gordy will take the rebound. Under 50 minutes to go in the second period. Try to watch the net, watch the players in the outside. And here's Donato. The sale has to take it over. They're staying alive here on the offensive run. Keep it up on the center, and it goes, and they're still moving it out to make that happen. Oh, they're getting a little bumped up already. Borgen over again to Gordy. A lot of heavy hits in the play here. Here's Donato. Gives the puck nothing in front of it as Carlson firing the puck in the, in the center of his own. Watching Olsak. And a penalty call! This one goes with a slashing and he caught it. Yeah, the tripping is not very good. Kolsar was in very big trouble over this man. He would never appreciate what he get there done. With the power play, this going goal, it's coming in for the Seattle Kraken. Now they're on for the second period. Here's the win. Everly, the shot went deflected wide, and kick, and kick will kick it out of here towards the towards the line. In the Seattle to McCann. Oh, Lord, I'm in rush. That's stopped by Hill. Hill's got a very good up there. I mean, talk about that one here, right? In forward and mounting. They really have to be out there like the one that they would never take it over or away from them. They really have got a good uh, show of what they would prioritize, but they can definitely do that one here for good. Squeeze up here as Higgy will try to give it over to Martinez. Luger will try to take it over here on a short-handed power play. Murray shove up, bumped out. Wenberg towards the other way, and now we'll try to figure it out where it got. Trying to figure it out. 
Can't handle that out. Fires it all the way down. Jones will hold the puck here, and we're down to 30 seconds for the Seattle power play. Here's Wenberg towards the outside. Finds McCann. Martinez trying to get the puck rid of it. And Bluger. Emily has the puck. Time looks like it's almost running down. Cole starts ready to go. With puck stride. Rebound and stop. And the power play is empty. As right now, the, the Seattle Kraken power play has already been expired. They're very good on the offense. I mean, very tough on the shot because you can't just say, oh yeah, we're just going to get over there and get it done. We're going to go attack them. We're going to finish it. That's not what we really do. We want to make sure we get this thing right on our mark target line to stay in balance. Because everybody else is right all over from each other. You know, we don't want that to happen. I, I definitely agree. Now here's Fortune right towards the offense zone. Now in the camp. Passing the neutral faceoff. Orla Sike. Gives it off to McCann. Trying to look in for deep. Carlson's got the puck here now. Slinging it over again to McNabb. Now he goes to Amedio. Amedio lost the puck and Benitez grabs the puck. With the rebound to McCann. Stop, stop, babe. Try to hold it for the puck in the offense zone. Fedor. Gives out to McNabb. Get bumped up. Here they come on the attack. The zone. Pass. Shot for Cassell. Oh, Jones got to run away. One time shot won't be enough. They're very saying that they wanted to get that one in extension for the part of a lead. This is kind of tricky on the zone, but don't get me comfortable with this play. They really got a lot of it down. Now with the win, here's Larson. Donato has the puck here right now into the offense zone. Try to watch it for room, and Hill will take the save. Here's McCann. McNam, I should say. Carrier right over again to Cassell. Cassell trying to make a back step. Firing along right, right, right towards the next to the net. Steps in. With the shot. Rebound again. Third time shot. Carrier will try to go back towards the offensive run. Over oh, the white cloud. Hagee trying to move over to Carey. With a shot, it gets blocked up by the double man defenders. Eight minutes left to play in the second period. Just still a one nothing game here for the Vegas Golden Knights. Defending on the run, now back to the Oregon and Donato. And it stopped and shot went really wide. Well, ugh, that's kind of very a little lame out of this. But they're really saying that they should never do this when going wide. Tipping in a range, it's very a bad idea. But don't get yourself caught if you wanted to get over this one. And then by the time you're going to get there right into the player, you just, just got to make sure you get this thing correctly. They're very unaggressive, right? Take the targets of that one here and take, feel free to take your time. Martin has stores the outside. Inside, Barbashev. And we'll be under with the shot. And stop made by Jones. Tobin and Nagigi. He finds Donato. Donato trying to find more room. Larson holding the puck here. We have a sprunch. Marchessault lost the puck. Trying to pick up a run here. Petrangelo over to get to Marchessault. Lost the puck. Petrangelo has the back. Now here's Martin. That's over again to Marchessault. Ico. Right towards the middle. All inside it, cast the puck taken away. Firing around the net. Regangelo swings to Martinez. Trying to look for the offense on Smith. Uh, and they're going to have to get this thing a call, and they are going to definitely say, deny it. Well, it looks like they were just fighting already. They're, they were really aggressive. They should have been out there trying to accept it him. But it looks like he didn't really stay out of the trouble a lot. He didn't really want to get hesitated over there. Jeez. Wow, a little clash off in between the Kraken and the Knight. Got a little, like, a little cat tacticals to put it up for her again. You know that Riley Smith was in a bad angle of the wall? He was hurt. He didn't really stay in focus out of it. He just went badly over with the bruise. Hopefully we won't have to talk to his management, but the assistant coach, and we'll find out if he's okay.
Centers are gliding in, ready to take the face off. It's still a 1-0 lead as the Vegas Knights still up by one. Getting blocked out of it, and Fedor has it out. Nearing the first minute to four minutes to go. Here's Smith. Smith has the puck. Now over it again to other side. Carlson gets the puck out of here. Smith lost the puck, and Schultz gives it back to Sports Shot. Trying to make a quick foot feet right towards the offense zone. Weinberg right towards the end. I've been rushing right around it and oh still. Oh man, that was very close. Now sports has it over to Oisite. Osaik right towards the wing. In the corner now. Slap shot. That gets blocked and goes right towards the wall. And Schwartz stopped again. Here at number one for Schwartz. Go with again to Schwartz. Got to build a piece of it. McNabb's got it now. And Luger over it. Two on one. Shot. And it's stopped away by Jones. Jones really had to see that one going. You got to try to like stay out of here. Get out of here. They get right over to get the Blue Guard. Two minutes to go in the first, second period of the game. Howard will try to give it over to in the corner of the wall. Now he gives out the White Cloud. White Cloud towards the left. Hit the pad knee by saving for Jones. Kulsar lost the puck. Blue Guard had a little bump out of it here. Got a little roughing in the call. Schultz right to McCann. McCann to Everly. Everly! A little bang out of it from the back. Last minute of the play in the second period as Bluger still are right around it. Passing the puck right to Kulsar. Sauchi has the puck here rebound it over again to Everly. Seattle regaining the group here in the offense win. Larson has the puck now in a neutral zone. Then he has to McCann. McCann couldn't try to save it. Here's another one for Cassell. Inside the middle. Cover it up. Shot. And the net goes loose, and they will have to fix it here with just 11.2 seconds. Now they're ready to do this offense again, stopping the play after the net went loose. Here's a one for Pachangelo. Here's a shot, and we rebound it up here. Too many bodies in the way. Kiki went with the puck. Sprung in the neutral zone. That's it for the second period. No score in this one. Turned out to be just like he did than before. 1-0, still sat. Be back after this. We are all set for the third period, which it all comes down to this. This is definitely a brutal battle. We definitely really love how they were playing. With the total statistics of how they did how will they do with the third period? Well, let's find out how they do. Right over here, we'll be standing by with paintbrush. Well, I have a lot of agreements to say about this one because they are very that tough. First, they beat it back in 2018 was the Golden Knights. They, they were totally here in that, in that point. And I'm going to say about this, they were a new team to be featured in here to uh, try to make it expanded plans for the NHL teams. Because at that point, they really want to like try to like make a team, and they want some to bring in here communities here too. They're really on a offensive topic here. And last year in 2022, they made a new announcement that they're bringing the Seattle team back. They're adding another sport here in the team. Without the Seattle SuperSonics, well, there's only one WNBA team, and it's sort of Seattle Storms. And now they're at, they're also bringing a new home for the Seattle Kraken. They are playing right here, and just like they did here, the same thing that goes with the Seattle Storm. I know they were definitely playing it before, but don't be mindful. They've got it all done here, and they have it all out. He's all alone for the tie! Hell, oh, that's close call. But they just did not have it right at the same time. Yeah, he was able to say it. I don't really know where the puck went. It looks like he went right towards the goal net, and he went really catching it way and wide. I did not really notice how this far, far he was going to get there. That was very that close. Here's Wenberg right to Dunn. Dunn to Larson. Shot! And deflection going right in. It's off and went right towards the blank of the glass. 
He will have to try to reset with the Scooters courtesy, and Schwartz has it out. Amadio. Watch stride right towards the offense zone. They're still trying to look for a win to get in. Fedor. Amadio has the puck. Try to look towards the offense and make it quick. Oh, Sayak has the puck now. Trying to make the pass to Porstrad. They are still looking for an offense zone to try to pick up the run. Here's McNabb. McNabb back to Smith. And did not see where the player was going. Porstrad right over again. Blocked the shot. Theodore right to Cassell. Cassell on a fast break. Gives it to Smith. Shot. Glove saved by Jones. 14.53 remaining in the first third period of the game. Nearing a late going in this period. 25 shots on goal and 24 is a close call with the shots on goal to get it in timing. Now that they are already have been gotten a one nothing lead, Eichel has that one to make that goal. Try to make that one here for the early of the first period. And since for the last time for Michael Eichel, their team has definitely never seen it coming in here since the, the first annual of the year for the playoffs in 2018 was a start. Is as a smash off better than the Seattle Kraken because that was a hard one they were able to maintain it. Another save made comes up by the goaltender. Well, it's impossible to know. When uh, Golden Knights were definitely making that play, they were saying, let's go for the win because our first time, why would the Golden why would the Golden Knights make the victim? They would have shown it off. They really like to see what they were going to be doing. And I have no other, uh, no other signs to say about it because they already have beaten against the Winnipeg Jets since uh, last in the conference finals. They're really uh, authentic in the Western Conference Finals. I know this was happening because this was a very uh, tough game and everybody was really thinking that, oh, let's go for the Knights. We better go back into the game and we are going to do this again. And yeah, since they uh, met, met them calling it for the first annual of the uh, start of the season, they definitely did really well to get this thing done. Delayed penalty coming up for the Vegas. And this one is going to make a call out of it. It will be a slashing call. Tiny Blue Girl in a penalty box. And the Seattle Kraken are going to make a chance to get a power play goal and tie the game up. Now they're ready to do the power play on their own. Still a one nothing game. And now they're ready. Schultz, shot, stopped by Hill. Hill trying to make it over again. Trying to watch the player in this offense, trying to make it, make it puck snap. And bumped out, and this is another penalty call. Now this is going to be an elbow call. The second time in the season. No, oh, not really that good. This is a nightmare, but nobody should ever do that every single step along the way. They should never get caught. They should never do that. Five on three events for the Seattle Kraken with a minute and 40 to go. Now we're ready. Here's done. Stop by Hill. Pretendula will try to fire it out of the zone. We'll have to keep your man's in second coverage. Watching the plays over here, McCann to Wenberg. Wenberg trying to make a regular move to McCann. Shot stopped by Hill. And Pachangelo gives off to Carlson. Dunn's outside of the zone. Watching the outside, looking for his zones. McCann, good stop, stick lifted here. Covenants has the puck with only 40 seconds to go in the 5-on-3 advantage. Pass to Postry. Good crouch down. It's stopped by Hill. They really are going to get over this one here. They're just going to make that one clear to get that one out of here. Dunn has the puck. And Carlson. Back along the way to 10 seconds down with advantage. They're going to be going back to 5-on-4. Get ready. One man's out. And just the last man advantage for the power play for the Kraken. Looks like he's almost ready to go. Fires around the net. The power play comes to an end for the Kraken as they mess this up the third time in the season of the postseason 
in Game 6. Well, great job for the Knights. I mean, they're really that good. The technical out there, I mean, they got a lot of it to put on the shield. They are very an excellent team. Besides, they never really want to get over this one here, and they really are doing the best thing as they can. I really like that hustle and abounding. They really have shown a lot of courage to take the team. And for that one, they really are doing the best. Nearing the late going to this period. Passing down the midway period in the third. It's 1-0 Vegas. Now Seattle wins it again. Osiant right towards it along the wall. Tanabra tries to recover it. Over to Biki. With a shot, rebound, and White Cloud taking over from Hill as he made another stop save. Eichel around the, around the back of it again, to, or Marching Salt. Aegir. No penalty call in Seattle. Fedor on his heat seeker. Stop by Jones. Sprunge will try to lift it out. Now here's Forgin. Forgin towards the wing. In the middle. Hey, you. Eichel. Stick lifted and Fedor trying to recover the puck. Not a chance. And stop again by Hill. That was a guy I was looking for. Almost had, almost had called it quick. Nah, you're fine. Don't have to worry about that one here. You just always gotta go get in the better if you wanted to get right toward it. Smash towards the visitor's bench. Fido recovering the puck, now over to get to Cassell. Lanier takes it over with the with the puck takeaway. If McCann shot, tipped it wide, and right around the net, that's off again on the goaltender. Another angle coming in with a drive. And here's a pass. McNabb, backhander stop made. Over to McNabb. Makes a shot. Stop by Jones. Osaya comes out here to try to pick up the rebounding put. 6.30 left to go in the third. Veneers towards the middle. Offensive aside to McCann. Oh, we're going to Everly. Oh, and Hill got it right away. Now they're coming down in the wire, and if you're looking towards the, the tickets we still have it available, if you're in Seattle, you can make your way to California in the Sabian Media Center. That's right in the towards. And done with the goal! They tied up now! The way is over! Now they're ready to come in to take their advantage and go with the win. An excellent play here for Dunn, as for right now they are tied up in this game. Now they're on. Seattle looking prouder to make that one to unleash the Kraken. Offsides called on Vegas. 6 one to go in the third period. Coming down to six minutes to play in the third. You can feel the next goal could be it. Now here's Larson. Right over to Nato. Donato fires it around the net. Petrangelo over to Cassell. Now his career. Carrier. Carrier right over again with the pack over to Stevenson. Here's Cassell. Lost the puck and Donato has it. Tovinen racing towards into the offense zone. Pass to Courtney. Shot. Stop. And a good play here by Hill. Trying to take over to Dunn. And Larson blocked the shot. Gordy has it. Blocked it away. Here's Stephenson with the puck. All along the Kassar. Howard it right towards the back. Trying to get the pass to Peter. Peter shot. Close save by Jones. Wow, he's like an excellent recovery for Jones. He's going to pick it up here and put it in bounding. We have the answer, and it's Vince Dunn. Now that one for Vince Dunn, he was really been successful to maintain that one. After he makes the goal, he is making a tie for this game. Didn't tell his teammate, but they're having it all down here in the game. He's got a great position, and he is an eye on pride. Good stop made by Hill. And Kosar lost the puck, and now we're back over to Everly. He's never chance. Everly went over again and shot, stop here by Hill. 
McCann gets bumped up. Dunn still out there to Everly. Shot deflected wide. Luger right towards the outside of Award. McNabb over to Howden. Howden a little bump out here. Pass to Bluger. Lost the puck here and it's now taken over again to Everly. Bumped across. Return to Lowe with the puck. Now McNabb has it now right over it again. Done. Lost it. Wenberg right towards the outside. Close the gap out of it. Only two minutes to go. Everly to win it. Whoa, that is a close one. And stop me. That really has to be insulting on this one is. That crazy player this wild of the same. They really are stepping it along. They were just trying to keep it out. I mean, wow. They are really are starting to get this thing over it, but they are just going right after it. And with the part of the next game, will you think that the like, Seattle Kraken will have the next game to try to make a win and head on to the second round? I bet they might do. That would be a great idea, but they better show their practice. I think it's practice makes perfect. Score! And there's the lead, there's Weinberg, and the answer is the call. They are getting in front. Well, you now know, Alexander Weinberg and their team, they are just crossing out of here. The score has changed. Now this could next be a goal to take the win. Here's another one for Dowdy. Borgen. Right to Tolvanen. Over to Gordy. Watching the run. Here's Donato. And Amadio. Tolvanen. Shotting it. Trying to take it over to rebounding. And they're pulling a man advantage on. And the delay penalty will be called on the Vegas. And Jones will have to stop the puck. Now they're calling the penalty on slashing. And this will be a Golden Knights power play to, to take a tie. Yeah, that frustration comes up here for Gordy. Yeah, I thought this was the end for it, but it looks like he caught him. Power play coming up for the Golden Knights. And now this will be coming in right now. The fans are going loud and just wanted to make that one clear. Schultz up and pop firing away. We're down and we to play in the third period. There's Cassell. Trying to swing it across. Schultz got it now. And Carrier, here is Everly. Carlson lost the puck. Watching Theodore right towards the outside, they are pulling the man advantage on. And they're on. Pass to Cassell. 20 seconds left, pushed on. Fired away. Down to 10 seconds left. Here's Cassell. It's a shot blocked. Jones got away this time. 4.2 seconds. They really need to call timeout. They should have that one in there to get that one to set up. And here's a shot. I call. Oh, in the goal post. But not this time. That is it. The power. My goal comes up failure for the Knights, and Kraken are back in it to win it. Well, we are here all night. I know what you're thinking because they were just here. They wanted to make that one pay for it. Well, as you're being said, this has been an outstanding game of the Kraken and Knights. They come back in the third period, and now they made a win. So as are being said, along with me, Nicole, and Paintbrush along with Clover, this has been a presentation of the Stanley Cup playoffs. Now, back to Test 2 to close out three star players of the game. Have a great night, everybody, and see you next time. Alright, thank you so much. And now for the three star players of the game, we have is Alexander Wimber. One goal on a hit. Made a lead and a cut over it right around him. He got a really good eye on that one here. He did a great job. The second star goes to Aiden Hill. He's in the, he's in, he is in the top three star players. Well done for Aiden Hill. And your first star goes to Martin Jones at 41 saves. And that's going to be it. No power play goals in between by Vegas Knights and Seattle Kraken. Here's how they did with the total shots on goal. 32 and 41. That was a lot of a hard and hard transitions. 
13 hits for the Seattle and 17 for Vegas. 8.13 and 5.07 for Seattle and Vegas. 70% and 90% here for Seattle and Vegas. Face-off wins for 28. Penalty kill was 6 minutes for Vegas and 2 minutes for Seattle. And a power play advantage was 4.20 to go for Seattle. And that will wrap it up there, guys. And that will be saying here, we hope you enjoyed with this part of the game of the Seattle Kraken and the Vegas Golden Knights. Stay tuned for the next game for day two. We have only, actually, we have one more game to go. And that will be the Winnipeg Jets and the Wilds back at Canada's Life Century. Hit the goalpost. That was the close call he was able to make it. I don't know what happened, but <laughs> just don't tell me what the truth is. They're just getting it out of here right on the line. Hopefully, on the other hand, we'll try to fix it better at the long stage run. So that being said, thanks for joining us and peace out for everyone for a while as the NHL Stanley Cup playoffs on the Sports style. This is Test Tube and see you all for the last excuse me for the last game of the playoffs of days of game number six. See you next time everyone. Good night in Seattle. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.